elbow to work or that you're watching at home on your computer, I'm not gonna wear my mask today. But we'd like to thank you for joining us and welcome to the 40th anniversary celebration and the grand reopening of Ramp's new building here at 202 Market Street. So we're super excited to not only be celebrating Ramp's 40th anniversary, but also the uh, grand reopening of Ramp's building. Um, it's 100 years old and we've just completely renovated the entire building. The building was originally built in 1920 by Cudahy Packing Company. And if you can see here by the newspaper article that we found in the Rockford Republic, um, back 100 years ago, they actually had a grand opening on October 20th, 1920. So today we're here doing a grand reopening 100 years later. We're super excited about that. The article talks about how the building was purchased for $80,000. And construction costs a little bit more these days, and we've done a few additions over the years, as well as a new addition for this renovation. So our project actually was a little bit more. Um, our capital campaign was for 1.5 million, and um, to date we've raised about 1.2 million dollars. So we're still actively doing a capital campaign and um, asking for gifts, but we'd like to point out the loyal donors who have made this project possible. Specifically, Willow Springs Foundation with a $600,000 lead gift, which we're incredibly thankful for. And then also, William J. and Alice Corporate Foundation gave a significant gift of $100,000, as well as a secondary gift to our endowment. And then we have other, lots of other uh, generous donors who have given to this project. And our new donor wall. We also have featured over here on our other wall um, some of the donors from our other capital campaigns um, because actually while this building over the years has been housed or has housed Benson Pool and Spa um, in the 70s and we actually have a picture over on the wall over here that has a picture of that and then in the 80s it was purchased over here is the picture of when it was Benson Pool and Spa, 1976. And then in the 80s, La Bistro Restaurant purchased the building. And I never got a chance to eat here, but I heard from a lot of people that it was a great restaurant and, and well-known in Rockford. And then in 1985, Pedriana Gustafson, some architects purchased the building. And that is who Rent purchased the building from in 1996. So when we bought the building, it was pretty much move-in ready. And it was definitely designed by architects, as you can see by the old entry here with the different architectural design elements to it. So for the purpose of our tour today, what I'd like to do is talk about some of the historical features of the building, as well as some of the before and afters. Um, with the building being 100 years old, there's some pieces that we really wanted to make sure that we maintain in terms of the historical integrity. And one of the things about Cudahy Packing Company that we learned was that this building could actually house 100 carcasses. And what they did is they hung them on these hooks that we have displayed in our entryway. And they developed a system that they could take the carcasses from the hooks onto their wagons on there. And that we actually have a picture of that over here on our wall. And that they could then um, transport the carcasses without having to lift them. Some of the other things that we restored are the, the beams that you see here. Um, the entire building is built on beams and columns, and so it is not only super cool, but it's also the structure of the building. And um, they have been painted many times over the years, and we really wanted to restore them back down to the original wood, so we were thrilled when we were able to do that. The article that I mentioned um, also mentions that the building was um, finished with white tile. And so as we began the demo last winter, we came across lots of pieces hidden in the walls that we wanted to maintain. And so one of those features is the white tile that's behind the reception area here. And so we've uh, restored that and displayed some of that to show some of the, the history of the building. You also see that as we go down the stairs here in the lower level in our original bathroom. We wanted to restore the ceiling, or to maintain the initial original ceiling, 
um, but there was just too much to do with that, so we went ahead and replicated it. So the ceiling is brand new and just a replication of what it used to be. And the lights that you see hanging here above the reception area were original lights from the building as well that we found in the basement. We're in our back storage area, so we've restored those and it adds a, a nice piece to our reception area. So as far as today, what we've done is the before for this area, the reception area used to be much further back and this room was completely closed off by two doors to the middle section. So we've opened it all up so that we can expose the beams and make it into one large open area or move the reception area more forward. Um, the conference rooms up front um, that we have now, the one over here used to be a conference room, uh, but we just made it a little bit smaller to accommodate a new mail room. And then this conference room here used to be our executive director office which we um, again made a little bit smaller and made it into a nice size conference room with our new reception area here next to our donor wall. Okay, so moving along. Here's a picture of the original building and the covered wagons that Cudahy used to use. And then here in what we kind of call our middle section, This area used to be built-in cubicles. Uh, they were a lot lower, and so people would scream across them. And so today they're a lot more private um, and also more accessible. Previously, um, when the architects designed this space, they had built-ins that would have had really long, wide desks, which are not real accessible. Of course, that worked for their big plans at the time, but we wanted to have some um, spaces that were more accessible today. The greatest change in this space here is along the window here. We used to have an office back where you'll see the lovely Autumn. <laughs> Wave! <laughs> and Jane. <laughs> and that used to be an office there and we wanted to open up this space so that we could have the entire office um, really enjoy the beautiful view that we have along the river. And so these cubicles have a little bit lower walls so that the rest of the office can enjoy the sunlight on this rainy day. <laughs> and that's what the office used to look like there. Okay, moving along this way. If you look at the ceiling in this room, um, it is, other than paint, it is the original ceiling that has, has always been. Um, and if you look at kind of the design of it, there's a slant. And from our understanding, they would take the water from the river and filter it into the ceiling. And this was at the cooling room for the building. And so that helped with the cooling filtration. Say hi, Eric. Hi. <laughs> These back three offices on the east side of our building were built in the early 2000s um, as an addition to the building that, and, and Ramp did that addition. One of the unique features of that is that in these offices, you still have the original brick from the outside of the building before. Jackie's office here again on this wall. All right, then as we move down here to the left, you'll see another find. Uh, is that the, uh, one more picture of what the office used to look like. The painted beads, look at that. <laughs> and then as we were doing demo, we also discovered this beautiful wood wall behind, behind the wall. And of course, asked um, our architect and, and uh, Hagney as well, Schmally, to please help us restore this wall. So they were able to do that. It just adds another feature to the building as well as some of our historical aspects. So one of the things that we realized when we decided to renovate is that we were, we were definitely running out of space. We were making cubicles out of extra spaces in the corner, in our kitchen, and anywhere else. And so 
now we have extra cubicles for, for space to grow over the years. Uh, we've gone from 17 cubicles to now 24 cubicles. So this space here, um, as you can see by the picture, it used to be our mailing room. And we had the purple doors going out to the patio. And we felt that it was really essential for us to open up the upstairs to the downstairs so that we can make the lower level more functional and not such a dungeon. And this is where we discovered some of the white tile, original tile there, and that we wanted to make sure to, to keep that. And then um, another part of the wood, wood wall as well. And a little extra brick we found back in there. <laughs> So where I'm standing now is actually was originally an old window that was in the in the, in the old part, which was our bathroom um, when we moved in, and so we wanted to to keep that and make it into a show. Another nice feature about this building is we have automatic lights now. <laughs> which is not only nice for efficiency, but but also for accessibility for individuals who cannot reach or um, who cannot flip switches. So this is probably where you see the greatest change for anybody that's ever been to Ramp's um, basement. When you came down the elevator before, there was a big long room, um, one big room, and in here you can see from the pictures that there used to be the two old freezer doors used to be actually on the North, we used to run north south of our building and go into the back storage area because that was such an influential part of our building um, and it, it was part of Cudahy kind of, hey, originally. We wanted to restore that and so we did remove them and, and now are displayed on that wall. This picture here is actually a picture of the memorial service of Ken Kearns, who was our original um, co founder of RAMP and our first executive director. You can also see, of course, what the basement used to look like. So now we have this beautiful board and community room. Um, we hope to have big gatherings here soon, uh, but this can be used not only for our staff and board meetings, but also community training, support groups, um, and, and whatever you might need a large group gathering for. We've also added on two conference rooms over here. Turn the light on. So we've now gone from one conference room to now four conference room plus the, the community board room. And then over here, this was an original bathroom that when when before ramp renovated really was not in use <laughs> because it was scary. Um, in fact, there's a picture of what it used to look like. And now we've made this into our new bathroom and it has the original subway tile. And then we've accented it with the black and white. just have our hallway and of course a new storage area. Um, we went from the majority of our, our lower level being storage down to one smaller storage, but sometimes that's good because it forces you to clean things out. Also, we're doing a lot more paperless these days. So we don't need as much room for files and that kind of thing. This is our area of rescue. In case of a fire and emergency, this is where individuals can go and it, there's a direct connection to the fire department to make sure that Folks, in the case of emergency, are safe. And then our back stairs, which are kind of scary, but not nearly as scary as they used to be. So here you'll have is uh, this space here. Say hi, Heather. Hi. <laughs> is our new addition. Uh, we have about about 950 square feet um, new office space, and so there are three offices and two cubes, which is mostly our admin back here. 
That is the original brick that used to be the outside of the building before we renovated. I should say before we renovated this last time because the next room we go into, you'll see the brick from the renovation prior to that. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> This is our executive director office. Again, you'll see the exposed brick. And Robin working hard. Hi. <laughs> this room it used to be our kitchen. Then it was transitioned into um, working space when we were in an overflow situation slash kitchen. <laughs> so now it is completely, um, of course, cubicles and workstations. You can see here on the picture what it used to look like when our kitchen was both. And then this here is the other brick wall I was talking about. So this would have been the original building when the restaurant La Bistro added on in the 80s. And so that they added on this part that we're standing in, and that would have been the original outside of that part of the building. We actually changed our doorway here. Um, our doorway to the middle section used to be over here, and we moved it to here so that we could have a straighter um, pathway throughout the middle section and up to the front, um, just for accessibility as well. And then you can see in the carpet that there's different shades of carpet squares and that is for individuals with vision um, impairment so that they can see the change in direction that there's a, an opportunity there to turn one way or the other. And if you come down this way it's our bathrooms which hello this space hasn't changed a lot other than just updating of course with all new finishes. The women's bathroom used to have one stall, um, and, the, and it had two sinks, and we um, now have one accessible stall, a second stall, with just the one sink, so it's just a little bit more usable space. And I also point out the, the white tile that we replicated to the original tile throughout the building as well as in the basement. So this spot here is where you used to leave the building and go outside. Um, for our back staff entrance. And it used to be a cage, what we called the cage, and it had the garbage cans and whatnot in it, and sometimes raccoons and opossums. Um, and we've added this space on as well and made it into our kitchen. And you can still see actually the, the roof access ladder. And our new garbage <laughs> area. And then if you come back here, you can see uh, the switchback that we added for accessibility and, of course, access off of our back parking lot to the building. Let's go along this way. We're doing some mowing today. Shout out to the Rockford Park District who does mow our lawn for us. We appreciate it. Here's our back patio. Um, with the last few years, we've been doing some patio parties and rentals. Um, this last year, unfortunately, we weren't able to during the, because of the pandemic, but we're hopeful that we'll be able to start those again. And you can see we have a new awning, which is um, hopefully renovated and, and ready for parties. Coming our side door here, you can see this is our development area. And this space um, didn't change a whole lot other than a few uh, walls that we moved. You can see in the picture there that the office in this back area used to be at a slant, which just kind of made it challenging back here. So we moved the wall and made it a, a, a square office, if you will, which provided a better workspace space back here for our development team to work on auction items and the work that they do back here. Mailings, event prep. 
this wall here is a part of the same wall that I talked about earlier um, that was the addition from the restaurant. And when we exposed this, we knew we were at risk of, of what the unknowns might be. And we found this doorway. And at first the uh, construction crew from Schmaley said, oh no, look what we found. And I said, oh yes, that's cool. So we are making that into some shelves. And the wood that you see in there is actually the back of what was inside the um, freezer doors from the lower level in the basement. So, still working on that, but it should be a pretty cool feature. And that concludes our tour. Thank you for joining us.